Uh, welcome back to the program, Ask the Ministers of God. Our dear viewer, thank you so much for having time to be with us tonight. We are having a very uh, captivating conversation on the set. The interrelationship between the mind, the soul, the heart, and even the spirit. And what do they mean for you as a Christian? And helping us to go through this particular topic tonight, we are having Evangelist Paul on the set and also uh, Florence John. You can also catch us live on our social media platform, that is Facebook page, MBC ITV. Drop a comment or two, and we'll be glad to see also your reflections on our discussion tonight. Karibu sana as we continue uh, with our guest, Evangelist uh, Paul, and also Minister Florence John. And just speaking from where Paul lived, Minister Florence John, when you talk about this element, and maybe because we are talking about how we need to look at them, how we need to guard them, uh, I know we've touched about the mind, uh, looking at maybe the heart, uh, because this is also very, very important, and one should also be in a position to guard it. There are those maybe who would want to say that maybe there is a way in which or another maybe their heart have been affected in terms of maybe even how they concentrate on their spiritual issues. Maybe what are some of the things that maybe one should be able to do to ensure that their heart is also in line with God's purpose? Okay, I believe uh, we are talking of the, not the pumping heart, yeah, yeah. the organ. We mm -hmm. are talking of uh, the, the inner man, mm -hmm. the soul itself. Sure. And uh, for this inner person to be in line with the Word of God, uh, with God, then you have to be a very prayerful person. Mm. You have also to make sure that uh, every time you're making sure you're reading the Word of God, day by day, day by day, continue feeding yourself. Mm. The inner man, like the way we feed the outer man with natural food, even the inner person is supposed to be fed mm. and uh, is fed with the Word of God. Make sure if there are fellowships in your church, attend them regularly. Mm. Make sure you're there. When there is a discipleship class, enter there. Continue learning because the Bible is so, uh, is so unique mm. and has uh, so many interpretations. So every time it's good to make sure you know something new about the Bible. And also make sure that uh, you have a spiritual church where you're going. Uh, don't just jump from one place to the other. Make sure where you're going, you know, you understand the father or the mother of that church. Mm -hmm. Don't just follow anything. Because what you feed your soul with is very, very important. It mm -hmm. might corrupt you or it might help you to your destiny. Wow, wow. Yes. Absolutely uh, fantastic there. And Evangelist Paul, looking at the external factors and the internal factors that may actually come to maybe affect these elements. Um, are, are there differences or similarities maybe in which someone is supposed maybe to look at them? Okay, now we, from the word go, let's start with the internal factors mm -hmm. that can affect the heart, mm -hmm. which in this context we're talking about the inner man. Sure. Mm -hmm. It's important to note that um, salvation is a journey. Mm -hmm. And a person who got born again this morning, they may have, um, engrossed themselves, or rather entangled themselves for mm -hmm. that matter, sure. with a lot of defilement, a lot of uh, you know, wrong relationships, which in result can lead them to, you know, to, to having a heart that is defiled. Mm -hmm. So it starts with working out their salvation mm -hmm. in fear and trembling. Mm -hmm. And if you discover that there is an internal part of your heart, mm -hmm. which is however much you try to pray, it's still bothering you. Right. Maybe it's an aspect of unforgiveness. Mm -hmm. You're struggling with unforgiveness, which can affect your heart, by the way. Mm -hmm. It's at that point that you, the Bible talks about confessing your sins to one another. Mm -hmm. That's when now we bring in the aspect of a spiritual leader, mm -hmm. your spiritual father for that matter. Mm -hmm. You just go to him mm -hmm. and express yourself to him or her that I have got this aspect in my inner man. Mm -hmm. I'm unable to forgive. I'm born again, but I'm still struggling with addictions which are fighting my, my inner growth right. in my heart. Mm -hmm. You go and confess. Mm -hmm. And uh, because it may be a deliverance issue, mm -hmm. it may be an issue that requires a person okay. of a higher spiritual authority mm -hmm. than you as a person. Mm -hmm. You just go, you confess, and then he is going to pray for you. Mm -hmm. And he'll begin walking with you in the path of dealing with those internal issues. Mm -hmm. Now, talking about external factors that may also affect your heart, there's the aspect of friends. Mm -hmm. Paul says, do not be deceived. Bad company ruins good morals. Okay. Mm. When you start the journey of salvation, mm. or when you want to be delivered mm. from things which defile your heart, mm. 
there are some friends that as a Christian, you have a divine responsibility from God mm -hmm. to drop those friendships. Mm -hmm. And you start attending fellowships, and out of those fellowships, you're going to get friends who matter. Mm -hmm. I've also seen a very interesting situation, especially among us, the young people. Mm -hmm. When you go to minister, maybe in schools, and they come and get born again. Mm -hmm. And their mobile phones are full of secular songs and secular videos. You know, those are those are now external factors. External factors sure. mm -hmm. A guy gets born again, but when they get back to the uh, hostels and they get back to their homes, mm -hmm. they are still putting their earphones on and continuing in the same mess mm -hmm. that they were in. Mm -hmm. So those are external factors mm -hmm. which they have not detached themselves mm -hmm. from those things. Mm -hmm. And the challenge, mm -hmm. therefore, to them is mm -hmm. they have to change their way of doing things. Mm -hmm. They have to change their list of friends mm -hmm. without being apologetic wow. because there has to be a, a you turn mm -hmm. you may use that word mm -hmm. yeah wow. uh, quite interesting there evangelist paul uh, florence john i don't know how, how do you take there for the situation uh, where we may be, s be seeing people who are actually uh, not necessarily affected by some of even the the, the um, the external factors that Evangelist Paul has talked about, uh, maybe even among the young people, they would not even maybe have any problem with what they are watching, maybe the secular things uh, in their videos, or maybe the use of technology and not everything that is good there. But uh, they also don't have a problem when it comes maybe to coming to church, maybe when it comes to praying, and it's like they are in both sides. How does it tell about, or how does it say about the health of their mind, the spirit, uh, the, the, the soul? Uh, to me, I believe that you cannot lie to yourself. You can lie to the world around that you're fine, but you can never be fine. If you're feeding your mind with the wrong thing, even the inner man mm. will start growing thin and thin and thin by day. Because there's something you are depriving <clears throat> that inner soul. Okay. And uh, most of the young people have been able to uh, to lie to us that they are still okay because they are attending fellowships, they are, they, they are reading the plays and worship team, but one day we are going to see the, the results of what you've been doing in the darkness. You might hide it for some time, but in long run, lazima itatokeze. Mm -hmm. And it is very, very good, declare your stand. Even Jesus said, there is no point of being lukewarm. Mm -hmm. You either be cold or hot. you'll be hot. Mm -hmm. you, you declare your stand. This is where I stand. This is what I don't stand for. If it is gospel music I'm listening to, let me equip myself with that. Let my mobile phone be that mobile phone that I can give to somebody else. And that somebody else will not have questions. Mm -hmm. But most of the times you'll see that... Majority of us, they have passwords because, not because of maybe a good reason, mm. but because mm. you don't want us to see what is going on. Yeah. And you see, the judge is our father who mm. sees even in the secret. Wow. So you should not <clears throat> fear what the world is seeing from you. Mm. But mm. what about God's report? Mm. What is God giving us your report? Sure, sure. So yes. at the end of the day, Evangelist Paul, it is, it, it, it is very important uh, uh, because most of those who want to do this, it's like, uh, maybe just a situation whereby they just want to please uh, man, but it's important and yet they know very well that there is a problem. Mm -hmm. And if you continue like this, if they continue to play both sides like this, what are some of the dangers? And can you reach up a particular level whereby maybe you've damaged these elements yeah. to an extent that there is no reverse? Exactly. Now, we pick it from the point of, maybe we have the example of King David. Mm -hmm. King David was actually God gave a testimony that he is a man after my heart. <coughs> but David had a problem with one of the aspects which, which we are discussing in this context. Mm. A time came and David said, search my heart, mm. O Lord. And he was even pleading with God mm. that Lord, do not remove your Holy Spirit from within me. Yes. Some other parts of Psalms he is saying, purge my heart. In other words, cleanse me, O Lord. David understood critically, mm. that even though I'm a king, mm. I may look like I'm very okay before the eyes of people whom I lead. Wow. And God has even given a testimony mm. that I'm a man after his own heart. But there are still some parts of my heart, mm. I as King David, mm. which if I'm not careful, mm -hmm. I'll not make it to heaven. Mm. 
and he is therefore pouring out his heart. Mm. He is dealing with the aspect of hypocrisy, mm. which many Christians have been unable to deal with, even mm. in the church mm. today. Mm. And I thank God because of such a forum, because we are posing the challenge to them. Sure, sure, because sure. what happens, Mungishu, mm. as time goes by, mm. there reaches a point where your conscience kind of dies. Mm. It's the point of no return. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You can go commit fornication if you are if you're a young man. Mm -hmm. You can go out there, get to adultery. You can even go out there, kill, and your conscience has no problem because you have totally and deliberately messed up mm -hmm, mm -hmm, with mm -hmm. how God created you. Mm -hmm. And that is why you see there are still some people, they commit a sin today, yeah. they repent, mm -hmm. and God turns them to a totally different kind of person. Mm -hmm. Some of them even become men of God. Mm -hmm. But there are others who keep on getting born again today, mm -hmm. tomorrow they have messed up. Mm -hmm. They get born again, it's a kind of a chain. Mm -hmm. And that one should sound a, a, a bell to them. Mm -hmm. That they are almost getting to the verge, mm -hmm. whereby it's a point of no return. Mm -hmm. Because they are getting used. Familiarity is something which is very bad. very bad. And as you continue to languish in sin, mm -hmm. to entertain sacred sin, mm -hmm. you are in the process of weakening the systems of your mind, mm -hmm. the systems of your soul, and the systems of your spirit which help you to connect with God the Father. Mm -hmm. Because you are getting used to Him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's therefore very important as a Christian to take caution. Mm -hmm. Don't be hypocritic. Work out your salvation in fear and trembling. Mm -hmm. Do not fear to pour out. I don't know if you have gone to churches and you see a very interesting situation whereby when people are given a prayer point, maybe to pray concerning their, to pray concerning material things, people literally pray. Mm -hmm. You give <laughs> the same congregation a prayer point maybe of repentance <laughs> and guys just stare at you. Mm -hmm. That one speaks volumes mm -hmm. concerning our aspect of, you know, the heart is a forest. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's difficult to know what is in my heart, mm. not unless God reveals it to you. Yes. You may never be able to know. Mm -hmm. Maybe I may be talking with the two of you here, but perhaps I'm imagining mm -hmm. wrong things mm -hmm. about the two of you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it therefore goes without that it is important mm -hmm. to I as a person, mm -hmm. however much I may be born again, it's important mm -hmm. to keep on praying, Oh Lord, search my heart. Wow. There's even a song that says, Peleleza moyo wangu buwana. Mm -hmm. Search my heart. If there be any aspect of hypocrisy, mm. any aspect of familiarity, mm. which may cause me to miss heaven, Lord, mm. deal with it today and now. Wow. Yeah. Absolutely marvelous there. Thank you so much, Evangelist Paul. We are pressed for time, but uh, as we draw to the conclusion of our discussion tonight, Florence John, uh, for our viewer who is watching us tonight, and maybe they think surely, uh, after they've had this particular discussion, they have seen, they have had a problem uh, with how they've actually maybe uh, taken care of the elements that you're talking about tonight. What other ways would you tell them? Okay, I'll tell the, our viewers, if you see there is any area of your life, maybe your mind, your soul, and uh, your body, there is a problem that is not aligning with the Word of God, go to your spiritual uh, man and uh, tell them, this is the point I want to change because we need that point that we are not living hypocritical lives because the Bible says that God is not mocked. Whatever a man has sowed, he shall reap. So it is always important to make sure that you sow good seeds that can glorify our Father in heaven. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much and uh, we appreciate it a lot. We want to wrap it up at that particular point. Thank you so much our servants tonight for helping us understand the interrelationship and the interconnection between the heart, the soul, the spirit and even the mind. Uh, on set we've been having Evangelist Paul. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure having you tonight also, on Ask the Ministers of God program and also Florence John. Also thank you so much for making time to be with us. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much also our dear viewer for following us and also for interacting with us on tonight's conversation. We really appreciate your feedback on the same on behalf of the entire team that made this a success. My name is Mangi Chamola. Have yourself a blessed evening. Nugget of Wisdom with Apostle Dan Gishimo. Don't delay to get to know the Bible better, for it is God's inerrant word to make you wise and spiritually fit in this life. Thank you.